What's up everybody, Arm Wrestling Uncensored here, and today's video we will be talking about the Mezzarenko Anti-Top Roll Handle, and we will be comparing it to the Wrist Max Anti-Top Roller. So, we're going to have a little bit of fun, and we're going to see what the benefits are with these two handles. Let's do this. So we will be starting this off with the Mezzarenko Anti-Top Roll Handle, and uh, like I said, this is the one that I purchased for myself, so... You can already definitely tell that the handle is very wide, very bulky, and it is pretty long, very curvy, and it works pretty well with my hand because as you see, my hand is pretty wide. I have stubby fingers, and I'm also a super heavyweight, so I'm actually dealing with a lot of big hands, and I feel that this benefits me because of the bulkiness of the handle, so it actually makes me work around the handle and try and get a good grip and everything. You'll see the kind of preferences that I like to do with this handle, uh, what I feel comfortable with and kind of what I don't feel comfortable with. But like I said, I can work around this handle all over the place. I can go a little bit more to the side. I can go more up. I can try and scoot up as you see right there. I'm trying to scoot up more because my hand was giving out that night because we've been using these tools all night. My hand is scooted down a little bit more on this one, but you'll see what I actually do is I actually tuck my thumb underneath the handle because it has a little um, a little curved spacer underneath it. It kind of feels like you're uh, putting your thumb down in a ref grip and getting ready to put your fingers down and you're about to just go. But uh, we'll get to that in a second, but uh, you'll definitely see that what we're doing is we're curving it in and trying to pin it. Um, I feel that you can also just do regular wrist curls. It works just as good, but there it is right there. You see my hand. I actually tucked my thumb way under there, under, put my knuckle right underneath that curvy part and it just gives me more of a disadvantage on that handle. But again, very, very good handle gives a really good pump and it works the crap out of your fingers. Now we'll be moving over to the wrist max. Now I will start off by saying the wrist max that the strap, the Velcro strap was fantastic because right there, it's a benefit because with the Mezzarenko handle, if you if you give up on it and you, it slips out of your hand or something like that, any kind of freakish accident can happen and you'll lose the handle. It'll go flying probably. But with the wrist max, it's a good secure fit and you don't want to put it too tight. It's a nice snug feel. It's like you're putting a seat belt on almost. And uh, yeah, your hand's not gonna go anywhere from that handle. So whether you let go of it or not, I've let go of it many times and it does not slip out of my hands. Um, as you already see, like I said before, my hands are pretty wide. So it's already kind of going off to the side of the handle a little bit. So I'm actually scooting up on the handle because as you see, the belt is at the very, very end. So it just makes it that more difficult and gives a much better, um, top roll or anti-top roll uh, workout on your fingers. So other than that, what I'll do is, as you see, my fingers were actually going past the belt a little bit and it was kind of pinching my fingers. So all you gotta do is just go down a little bit, readjust the strap and you're good to go. So in my opinion, on both of these handles, you can do a lot of adjustment work on either one of them. You can, you know, long, handle, long hands, short hands, doesn't matter. You can do basically anything with these handles. Very, very good exercise tools. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that little video, but just a little recap on the Ezarenko anti-top roller since this is actually the one that I have with me right now until I go back and train with my cousin and again, might do a little bit more. Let me know in the comment section what you guys wanna see. But a quick recap, what I, what I didn't show y'all in the video is that with the, the handle that comes with the the, the part that you know that comes with it i mean you gotta buy it separately and everything but even though i can hold on to it like this but what i was trying to show y'all was i like to go down just a little bit you know i like to have my thumb like way tucked in underneath that little curvy part so literally just my knuckle is just touching that little curvy part it kind of feels like um like a, like an actual hand like a fat hand so it's like you go in there and you put your thumb down, like you're actually putting your thumb down on someone's hand, and then you, you know, fingers down, and it's just so much, um, so much tension on my fingers and everything. So that's why I feel, you know, you're just doing nothing but doing wrist curls with just the fingers. 
So, but I feel that if you were to try and, and pin it and curve it like that, like kind of like what we were kind of doing in there, um, by the time you curve it, it's still going against the the finger, but it's kind of going more on the inside, you know, on the on the actual fist knuckles. So, what I feel is whenever you kind of like like you pinch down with your thumb and then you put your fingers down, just do yourself some wrist curls because it works better because um, you're trying to work on your anti-top roll. You're trying to work on your finger pressure. And another thing that uh, my cousin actually found out with this handle, because we were doing a lot of experiments with this handle. But anyways, there's another hole right there and my, my cousin was, we were just playing with the handle and we put it in and we were just doing just regular wrist curls. I mean, it's pretty smooth and that's all we were doing. Whenever we were just sitting there, we are just like wrist curling it and then just doing some inside pressure. But other than that, uh, we'll be doing some more of these little reviews and everything. Uh, let me guys know in the comment section what you thought about it, if you, what, are, what you guys wanna see with the, the wrist max, what you wanna see with the Mezzarenko handle, whatever. But we're gonna do some more experiments and everything and I'll uh, um, do another video on what else I do with this handle on my spare time rather than carrying this and going to the gym with it and everything. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you, if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more. Hit that notification bell button and I will see you guys on the next one. Always remember, strong arms. See you guys later.